I'm Catherine Tomlinson and I started an eco-conscious pottery company called Oxford Clay. So I don't just make pottery, I make resources for other potters wanting to be more eco-friendly in their pottery practice. And that's what this podcast is all about. It's about sharing everything I've learned along my eco-conscious pottery journey with you. And I'm so glad you're here with me. Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Oxford Clay Pottery Podcast and in today's episode we're going to be talking about rolling out clay and three tips for rolling out clay. Now um, (laughs) rolling out clay might seem like a really simple process, just get some clay and roll it out but um, it's actually, it's, there, are, there are a few things basically that would that make it loads easier, which we're going to go through today in, in this episode. Um, it's actually not as easy as I, you know, I would have thought before starting doing pottery. And then when I started trying to roll clay out, I realised, wow, this is actually like a really technical um, process, you know, and, and takes a lot of practice rolling clay out well. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's why we're talking about rolling out clay. Another reason is that... Um, rolling clay out is such a cool skill to get in pottery so um, you can use for example um, a lot of uh, hand-built stuff is actually made from slabs and so that's when clay is rolled out and then it's kind of like um, maybe left to go like leather hard and then it's cut out and then you can join the slabs together to make really cool sculptures you know hand-built vases Um, you know another way actually of using a rolled out piece of clay is a press mold and you can kind of just gently press a piece of rolled out clay into a plaster press mold um, to make a pot um, you know which has got kind of like completely even sides and stuff so so yeah so rolling out clay is a great skill to have Um, so let's get on to the tips for like rolling out clay rolling and what are the tips so um, okay, the first tip I would say um, is that it's really good to give yourself the best chance of rolling your clay out um, um, well. You need uh, kind of like the right equipment, and by the right equipment, I don't mean anything fancy, anything fancy at all. I just mean that you need a few essential pieces of equipment to enable you to roll the clay out. Okay, so the first thing is that you need a cloth, a rolling cloth. So if you think about, say, like rolling like a piece of pastry out, what they do is they they put, you know, flour on the table and then they roll the piece of pastry out, like, you know, on top of the flour. But in pottery, you can't do that, you know, so that stops it from sticking to the table. In pottery, you can't do that because we can't, you know, we can't really use like dry powdered clay, you know, we can't be breathing that in, but also it will dry out the clay. So the way we get around this is you can actually use a rolling cloth. So what you're going to be doing is rolling the clay out on top of a cloth. And this is a really fantastic way of, you know, of getting, of getting, you know, you can still have a flat surface, um, but it's, um, but it stops the clay basically from sticking to the table. Okay, so in terms of what kind of cloth to use, you want a cloth which has quite a fine um, thread to it. So quite a, you know, quite a sort of tightly woven cloth. You don't want a cloth which has got like a, a, a big weave to it because that will imprint its impression onto the clay. And you, you know, so you want the finest weave you can get um, and you want a, a cl- kind of cloth where you can wash it you know easily um and you know preferably one that's like already hemmed so you don't have to like sew it um so the ideal cloth for this actually is a tea towel just like a normal cotton tea towel uh from the supermarket or you know the hardware shop or something so um tea towels are amazing as rolling cloths they're only not amazing as rolling cloths if you're doing a really huge piece of clay because tea towels often come as a kind of you know sort of certain size basically but they're actually great if you're if you're rolling out a sort of just average sized piece of clay okay so that's the first thing a rolling cloth absolutely essential to rolling a piece of clay out The second thing which makes rolling clay out so much easier is some rolling guides. Um, So by rolling guides, I basically just mean two things either side of your rolling pin that the rolling pin can kind of sit on as you're rolling the clay to make sure it comes out even thickness. 
So for example, um, you can use uh, pieces of wood. So you can actually buy sort of uh, very thin pieces of wood that are exactly the same size from a pottery supplier, or you can just go to like a hardware shop and buy some wood that is like the correct thickness for you rolling the clay out. Um, for you know, you want you it's the the same thickness. You want the same thickness of wood as you want your piece of clay to be, and you just put those either side of the thing, the piece of clay you're rolling out, and then when you're rolling the clay, it it never goes smaller than the than that width basically. Um, and that's it gives you the perfect width all the way around thickness of clay all the way around so um, yeah and in terms of rolling pin I found personally like a wooden rolling pin I just got from the, hard, the hardware shop or the supermarket that's made for cooking that is a fantastic thing to use as well so wooden rolling pins are really good because the clay generally like doesn't really stick to a wooden rolling pin so yeah they're really really good to use okay so cloth rolling guides so, or just some kind of piece you know two pieces of wood the same thickness basically the same thickness as you want your clay to be and um, a rolling pin a wooden rolling pin so um, I guess the other thing to say is that it's really you know you need a flat surface basically to be rolling clay out on <laughs> so um, so let's just cover that one more time so basically you need flat surface then you'll have your cloth then you'll have your piece of clay uh, rolling guides either side and then you're going to be rolling over the guides and you know you're rolling the clay out um, bit by bit okay so that's tip number one is like use the right equipment and it's just you know it's so much easier and you really have to have a rolling cloth basically um okay so the second top tip is to um is to wedge or knead the clay you're using really well um, and the reason for this is that if you have any clay that's if you have clay that's like not evenly mixed say like you have a sort of slightly harder bit of clay in or slightly softer it can make it really difficult to roll your clay out to, you know you'll have like you know your kind of hard bit or like the softer bit it makes it really difficult to, to roll it out evenly so just wedge your clay um, really really well um, by really well I mean maybe like four minutes or something so you know it's not ages but it just will ensure that the clay is really thoroughly mixed and it will just roll out so much easier and so much more evenly so that's the second top tip um, and then the third top tip is that if you're rolling um, your clay out and it's kind of getting stuck and it's not really going any further um this is a this is a top tip from pottery teacher who basically told me that you need to lift the clay off the cloth or if if the clay if the clay is a bit delicate you can just kind of tip the clay onto your hand and then you can peel the cloth off the back then put the cloth down make sure the cloth doesn't have any creases in because those creases will basically damage the clay. They'll kind of make a dent in the clay. So make, you, make sure your cloth is like super flat and then put the clay back um, and then the rolling guides and rolling pin and then it will then it will start to um, roll out again. So sometimes the clay has basically reached its sort of maximum expansion on the cloth and you need to actually remove the cloth and uh, re-put the clay down to be able to get more expansion in the clay and roll it out flatter. So that's a really top tip if you're like, why is this not working? It's not, it's just, I keep on rolling, it's really not doing anything. It will be the cloth that's stopping it from rolling, basically, stopping it from expanding out. So just stop, take the cloth off, reset the whole situation. Um, and you might need to do this several times as you're actually rolling the clay out. Um, yeah, basically, that's it, it just frequently happens. The clay will just reach its max, maximum expansion after, like, you know, maybe even a couple of rolls, basically, and you'll just need to keep on peeling off that cloth and putting the clay back on again, just making sure there's no creases. <laughs> Nothing worse than when you've peeled, you know, a perfectly rolled thing off, you've peeled it off, and then you realise that there was a crease in the back and it's, like, dented your, your piece, your the piece that you've rolled out. It's so annoying. So, yeah, that's my, that's my another top tip. That's, like, a sort of bonus top tip, just make sure that cloth is like really flat and doesn't have any creases in um yeah okay so those are the top tips really um use a cloth get a nice ro wooden rolling pin some nice guides a nice flat table um wedge the clay really really well so that um there's no like hard bits soft bits um anything that's not going to roll out evenly 
And the final tip is to make sure that there's no creases in your um, cloth as you're rolling and that you might just need to keep peeling off the cloth and setting the clay back down onto the cloth to allow that expansion to happen, to allow the clay to roll out. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Rolling clay out is like really fun. It can be, you know, it can be something that is really good to practice. Um, I, like I said, I found it, I, like I... So I found it quite difficult when I when I first started doing pottery, and um, yeah, it's it's a skill that I had to practice a lot at. So, um, yeah, so I hope this has helped you if you are like just tr- trying to like learn how to roll out some clay, and it's just like what and like do- doing it on a cloth is like the key really. So, um, yeah, so until the next episode, um, thank you so much for joining me for this one, and I'm very happy potting, and looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye. So if you enjoyed that and you're interested to learn more about eco-conscious pottery, head over to the Oxford Clay website, which is www.oxfordclay.co.uk. I can't wait to see you there.